Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless and the bold and the beautiful. And this is your young and the restless recap for September 14th. And today, Adam crashes the party between Sally and Nick. We also had this whole explosive argument between Nate and Devon, and we see Victor hiding his true feelings with his son. So before we unpack this, take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and please don't forget to like and share. So we start off over at Crimson Lights where we see Vicky and Lily are both playing hardball on some, I guess, lucrative phone calls. Now, after Vicky and Lily congratulate each other, and you can tell it was kind of fake on their recent moves as CEO, they talk about the importance of having solid teams to back them up. Yeah, okay, Lily. Then we see Victoria throwing a little bit of shade over at Billy, talking about like it's challenging to work with Billy. But Lily claps back with, you know what? He stepped away from the podcast and he's back doing his full COO duties and he is ready to shine. So while Lily is singing the praises of Billy working at Chancellor Winters, there's something else brewing at Chancellor Winters. Devon and Nate. So Devon is offering Nate this opportunity to get everything off his chest. Now, Nate wants Devon to admit that he keeps shutting down his ideas and will make accusations about his motives. Devon acts like Nate thinks he knows best, like when he went against the rest of them and decided to do all that stuff at that lunch party. Now, after Devon suggests Nate walks around like a surgeon with a God complex, Nate claps back over his surgery career being thrown in his face. That now leads Nate inviting Devon to punch him in the face again. But Billy now interrupts and try to play referee. Now, Nate is arguing that there'll be no more fighting since he's done with Devon and done with Chancellor Winters. Now, once Nate announces he's quitting, Billy argues, whoa, 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 there's no need to be hasty. Nate claps back that he's been thinking about this for a while now. But then Lily comes in and she gets updates about what's going on, but she's gonna reject his resignation. Now, after Billy leaves to let pretty much the rest of them deal with this, Lily is insisting that she's willing to stay all night to get this all sorted out. Unfortunately, Nate is like, nah, I don't think that's going to work. And Devon will agree if it's best that he actually leaves. Now, Nate stands by his decision to say goodbye before ending up over at society for a drink. So once he gets there, he decides to give Elena a call, but gets her voicemail. Of course, Amani comes in and see that Nate looks a little furious. Now, Nate delivered the news of what just happened over at the office and argues that he just can't keep banging his head against the wall when it comes to Devon. When Nate admits he just quit, Amani is disappointed. So back over with Lily, she's hoping that Nate cools off and changes his mind. And as for Jill's proposal about taking that company public, Lily makes it her mission to convince Devon that it's the right move. But the question is, does Devon think it's the right move? The way his facial response was, it doesn't look like he wants to go public and... Hey, I don't even know why he even signed up for this to join forces with a bigger company. You're going to lose something to gain more. So Billy then made it over to the coffee house because breaking up that fight between Nate and Devon, he said was above his pay grade. So he left that to Lily. But he runs into Victoria and he discusses the internal conflict at Chancellor Winters and how it is at an excessive level. Now, Billy sees this as a potential for it to sink the ship and don't know what he can do about it. So now we're back in Sally's office and she held out her hand as we saw from yesterday's episode. We see Nick actually extends his hand, but then he turned around and put his other hand on top of her hand. This is where we actually get to see Sally leaning in for a kiss with Nick following that whole handshake. Now, after pulling back briefly, both of them decide to make out like crazy before clothes start coming off. 
And then we get to see this whole thing, which a lot of the fans are not happy about. But they started hooking up on the sofa. And while all of that going on, her ex, Adam, knocks on the door and called out to Sally since, you know, he saw her her car outside. Now, that leads both Nick and Sally kind of put, the, you know, a pause on this whole thing briefly because they're in shock. And, yeah, after Adam decides that uh, nobody's home, nobody's answering, they go right back at it after Adam walk away with no answer. And after this whole deed is done, which, boy, 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 this is about to get crazy, Nick admits that, eh, I'm hungry. Let's go get something to eat. And Sally accepts his whole dinner invitation because, obviously, they burned a lot of energy. So still over at society is Jack and Victor. Now Jack is acting like the importance of family is something that he and both Victor can agree upon, which is why Jack can't understand the idea of Victor truly giving up on Adam. Now, Victor kind of expressed and changed the subject by expressing his condolences over chemo before the whole conversation now shift to his granddaughter, Allie. Now, both Jack and Victor, they're cracking jokes about another messy Abbott Newman romance since Allie is involved with Noah. While this whole chummy conversation is happening between the two of them, Somebody show up, none other than Adam. And when Adam finds both Jack and Victor looking all charming, he assumed that his Jabot job isn't part of this conversation. Jack insists, yeah, they did talk about him for a little bit, but the tension is still there between Victor and Adam. Now, since Victor won't believe that he can convince Adam that the best place for him is with the family and the family company, he urges Adam to just, eh, move on. Now, Jack, we're like, whoa, 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 there's no need for any ultimatums. Victor is standing his ground and promises Adam, you're going to regret this, son. Don't forget that. And, of course, he takes off and leave. And, you know, of course, you can tell that it has Adam feeling some kind of way. However, somebody else that's feeling some kind of way is Victor because he was punching that punching bag savagely at home, trying to get some of that frustration out. I got kind of scared for a moment. I thought he was going to pass out. Now, back over at Society, Adam spots Sally and Nick as they both come in together. Now, after Adam mentioned that he did stop by Sally's office earlier, she make up this whole lie that she was upstairs in Nick's office at the time. Now, the two of them, Nick and Sally, claim that eh, this is a work dinner, but Adam notes that he hasn't eaten yet and wonder if, hey, can I join you guys? Which brings an incredibly awkward conversation and meal as Sally says that she didn't realize how hungry she was. Now, Adam suggests that Sally built up quite an appetite and will remember the nights when Sally forget to eat because they were so focused on quote unquote work. He threw on those little undercut messages. Now, Sally, Nick and Adam, they agreed, you know what, let's not talk about work. Yeah, mm -hmm, I bet. Nick. But Sally, you know, slip up and mention a new platform that she wants to pitch to Nick. But yeah, it's not sitting well at all with these two. This is going to get real ugly. The fans are not happy. They actually wanted Adam and Sally together. But now throwing Nick into this whole thing, somebody else is going to be mad too. I can't wait till Summer finds out. Ooh, she going to hit the roof. And, yeah, I honestly think that Nick was doing this to try to get her mind off of his brother. So now over at Sally's hotel suite, Nick walks her up to the door and admit that it was a very interesting dinner. Sally wishes Nick good night, and then, of course, he kind of sashays down the, you know, the hallway to leave. Now, once Sally goes into her suite... We now see Adam looking real curious and on edge like he saw Nick walking Sally home for the night. And yeah, this is going to continue to happen. There's going to be a lot of risky moves between Nick and Sally. So we got to stay tuned to see how this whole triangle implode. 
Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Wednesday, September 14th, 2022. Stay tuned for the Bold and the Beautiful, also to be uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.